And what I'm going to do with these two heaters in the background is simulate the heat of an artificial day. We're going to heat that up. I'm going to turn off the heaters and we're going to see how well it pumps. All right, so the heaters were just turned on. You can already see the pressure gas bubbles coming out of the container down into the water. That's a good sign. That means that we're building up some pressure inside of them, which that pressure now is releasing. And in the void of that pressure, once I turn off the heaters, we're going to have a vacuum. And that vacuum should create the draw that we're looking for to make this solar evacuated pump design work. So I've just turned off the heaters and I turned them to a different direction so we could get this process happening pretty quickly. Now hopefully I can get a good view of that first tube. Oh, look at that. Already water coming up the tube right then. You can see it down below pulling the water and filling up the lower container. Oh, and look in the second tube there. You can see the water line going up the second tube already. So right now we're pulling water out of a lower container, basically a stagnant lake or a pond or something like that. Real quickly here, I want to show you this device on long like this, so that way you can see the entire thing. You can see this massive spot focus for now lens here. I've built a frame for it. Back here in the back, I have a 10 foot long piece of conduit. We've got a five gallon metal can hooked to that piece of conduit. A piece of tubing going up to a one-way valve up here. Um, what we're going to do now is we're using the Fresnel lens to generate heat inside of our pump canister. The pump canister has a tube coming in here which has a one-way valve. That one-way valve opens this direction. So the flow created by the vacuum drawing water up can allow water into the system. But then the next day the heat being generated like we're doing right now, that pressure will force that valve closed, making sure that all the direction of flow due to the pressure has to go one direction. That's up this tube, which has a one-way valve at the top of it. That one-way valve, once again, only opens this direction, allowing water to flow out. But then once the vacuum is generated, the vacuum is going to close that valve and allow the vacuum to draw only this direction here. The problem is going to be is making it function more than once a day. So I think it's about time due to the angle of the sun right now, not really hitting my tank very well. I'd have to shorten it and bring it down a little bit more. So let's go ahead now and we're going to flip that Fresnel lens out of the sun. And the cooling process here will begin. It's a little warm out here today, so it's not going to cool down real quick or get real cold. Not until tonight. And all of a sudden, oh, here you go. Look at that. I mean, I just saw it jump, it looked like. Almost pretty neat there. This kind of lift really quickly like this, even in hot daytime temperatures, lets us know that potentially with a shading system, or let's say even a evaporative cooling system that we could incorporate with our pump can here, that would take a little bit of the water that would be coming out of the top and use that at a certain moment during our cooling cycle to generate some evaporative cooling to help this process along a little. We could make this happen much faster and maybe multiple times during the day using the energy of the sun through the Fresnel lens to generate a really hot temperature, an evacuation temperature inside of our pump tank here. And as that starts to cool, those temperatures are so hot that it'll even happen in the daytime temperature. As you can see here, our water lines is going up and up. We're almost up to the piece of wood here, which is darn near three feet of elevation lift. Let me back up so you can see that. So there you go. That's quite a bit of elevation lift already. There you go. That was the water being drawn up four feet in elevation into our tank. And right now we're pumping water into our pump tank. We're just going to let that sit there and draw. Down here I can take a measurement out of our reservoir of just how much water it actually pulls out of the reservoir inside of our pump tank. Now this is the very first day, the very first part of our cycle. So we're just generated the first heat to create the first vacuum so we could start bringing water up into our pump tank. Now the next day's heat or the next cycle's heat, let's say we do that here in a few moments, once I see that the draw has stopped due to the vacuum being as strong as it's going to get with the reduction of temperature we're going to achieve during the daytime. Now I can turn the Fresnel lens back onto the pump. The pressure generated now during the heat cycle is going to take the water that ended up inside the reservoir here, our pump reservoir, and push that further uphill. Just to speed up the process and to test out ways that we could make this pump multiple times in the daytime, what I've done is just thrown up a piece of aluminum sheeting out there as just a sunblock, just to shade it. I put a piece of clothing around it, kind of drooped around it, and I've wetted that down with a hose real quick. That way we get a minor amount of evaporative cooling taking place. Okay, so I don't see a lot of movement happening right now. And it looks like that may be the total of the draw we're going to get during the daytime here. And I want to see if we got just enough sunlight or enough temperature we can get against that canister to do a pressure cycle of this pump. 
So we've drawn down about halfway, if not a little more, of this container. That's at least a gallon of water that's been drawn up four feet into our pump tank. Let's go ahead now. I'm going to set up the camera. I'll remove all the cloth from around it and the metal shade, and we're going to see if we can get this to pump further uphill. All right, so I'm unwrapping this. Hopefully, the sun will come back out. It's been hit and miss here. So there we are. The tank's back exposed again. Let's see if we can see water start to come up this tube in our pressure cycle. Let me get that Fresnel lens kind of pointed right at the tank over here. Okay, once I see movement, I'll turn the camera on and show you how it's working. All right, here it comes. Look at that. So there's the water right now coming out of our pump can to, to just a minor amount of Fresnel lens because I'm having trouble getting to focus on it. But even with that heat, look at this. Already our pump is starting to work in, on the pressure side of the cycle and push that water further uphill. The difference in the sun energy hitting the tank and our pump is pumping further uphill here. So we're now up to six feet at least. All right, so we're now up to seven feet. Uh, water line's way up here. So we're able so far, and I still see it slowly moving up, we're able to get up to 88 inches in head height on a single pump cycle. Now I have a feeling if I turn this back to a shade cycle again, allow it to draw more water into our pump tank and then do this again, each time we're gonna be able to pump higher and higher as the volume of water inside of our catch tank here increases. So I just saw another little increase there. So now we're up to, it says 89 inches and still rising. In fact, if you watch it there, it looks like it's going up pretty quick. All right, so we're up to 90 inches just sitting there talking with you. Here we go. I've got water at 96 inches in elevation. Now pouring out of the top of our output. We've now been able to pump water eight feet using the thermodynamic process from our reservoir into our pump tank using the sun right now and you can see a nice stream of water coming out of there. Look at that. That would be filling another one of these pump tanks. So that would basically go into another one of these with another Fresnel lens up here at 96 inches. That could fill up once again with another Fresnel lens heating it on the other side of the cycle pumping it even further uphill and the whole time I'm talking it's just blowing out water. Look at that, folks. A working thermodynamic or thermal evacuated water pump. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Teslonian.